One of the things that I absolutely love about the tiny house movement is watching people's personalities and creativity come alive in the spaces that they build for themselves. And that's exactly what's happened with this next absolutely beautiful tiny house that's packed with some really clever ideas. Hey Layla, how are you? Hi Bryce, good thanks, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. G'day Ollie, how are you mate? Bryce, good, nice to meet you too. It's great to meet you and I am so excited to see your house here. Yeah, Thank it's you. so good to have you here, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. So first of all, can you tell me a little bit about how you actually came to be living in a tiny house? Yeah, it's been one of my dreams for about six years to live tiny and now it's finally a reality, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. We came home from an overseas trip and wanted something to call our own and financially this was a really good step and idea for us so spent a lot of time researching and staying in different homes and yeah came up with something that is now ours and mm. we love it. So what was it that really made you fall in love with the idea of living in a tiny house? Probably that minimalistic living. I found that I don't need a lot to live, we don't need a lot to live. Um, we culled out a lot of clothes and things that we don't need uh, to live the lifestyle that we live now. And also yeah. definitely more time to have things we love to do like travel and spend time together instead of um, looking after a really big home was definitely a motivation behind it too. Now the house you've built here is absolutely beautiful and it's quite a unique design isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We definitely took a few ideas from different ones we'd seen over different videos but also wanted to come up with something that was ours and a little bit different. Yeah. And in terms of the exterior, we wanted something that fitted in with our beautiful parking space, a part of nature. So we went with the wood and the black to sort of blend in and just have that really classic clean mm. look. Yeah. yeah. And did you do the construction on the house yourself? Uh, we had a builder friend help. He built it for us, all the frames. Um, we built the frames in his garage right. um, and then transported them here onto the trailer. So um, it's a tiny house, so we can build it in a tiny garage. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, This was the building spot, and we were here for every build. When they were here, we were helping out where we could, and we did little jobs like the insulation and just helping where we could, and it was so cool to be part of the process. Yeah. It's always great to have your hands in the build, isn't it? Yes, yeah, definitely. And it looks like you've got a really interesting bump out on the end there as well. Yeah, that was something very last minute we decided to add with our builder. We wanted a little bit more room up the top in our loft and so we suggested adding a bit of a nook yeah. and it's worked out beautifully inside, giving us a lot more space. So what size is the tiny house? Yeah, so the trailer's 8.4 long uh, by 3 wide and we've gone to 4.2 high as well. So we've gone quite big but it's still enough to get by. And the parking space that you have here, this place is so idyllic, isn't it? Yeah, we're very lucky to be where we are. Um, this is family farm. Uh, I spent a lot of my time here uh, as a kid and um, to be nestled here underneath the tocha trees in the orchard, we're very lucky to be here. We spend a lot of time listening to the tuis and the trees and enjoying the view from out here on the deck and it's just beautiful. We feel very lucky to be here. Yeah. And to that end, you really have expanded the house with a lovely outdoor area, haven't you? Yeah, so we had a little bit of a dead space here, so we're just working out what to do here. So we've placed some bark down for entertainment area and looking forward to the summer to, to have family and friends over. We also have an outdoor bath, which we absolutely love. We spend a lot of time out in the evenings in yeah. the bath, having our wines and just enjoying some downtime together after a busy day at work. Wow, so you're actually hiding a bathtub under yes, there, right? Yeah, yes. we have a bath under there. Yeah, hidden away. That is such a clever idea. Thanks, we, we think it's pretty cool. Yeah, fantastic. Well, the house is absolutely beautiful from the exterior and I cannot wait to see what you've done inside. Can we check it out? Sure, come, come on in. In. Let's All right. go. Thank you. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. It feels incredibly spacious in here, doesn't it? Yes, definitely. I think a huge thing for us was we wanted a lot of glass and a lot of windows to make it feel really big and open and also went with the white walls just to really create that clean, fresh look. Yeah, it certainly has. And then of course, immediately upon entering this house, we're in this incredibly comfortable lounge area. Yes, that was definitely yeah. one of our things that we wanted in this home. We spend a lot of time in the living area and so for us it was important to have a really big couch area to relax and entertain our friends um, moving through into the kitchen space and absolutely love our big couch. We yeah. actually found the couch really early in our design and we, we built the space around the couch and 
Some people thought we were a bit crazy fitting mm. a massive couch like this in, but it's worked beautifully it's worked and we just really love well. it. Absolutely, and it's big enough as well that I'm guessing it can also double as a spare bed. Yeah, that was that was another reason behind the purchase, as you can fit two people on, on the sofa. Yeah. We've already had a friend come and stay the night and he was more than comfortable, so it works really well. Yeah, Excellent. And then over here we have your kitchen, and I really love what you've done with this centre island here. Yes, this was definitely a unique design. We hadn't seen a kitchen layout quite like this in a tiny home. And for us, we love cooking. We spend yeah. a lot of time in the kitchen. So definitely was something we wanted, was a good, decent sized kitchen. And having this bench in the middle is amazing. We spend a lot of time here doing work or um, prepping food, chatting to each other in the evenings. We just utilize it for so many things. It's kind of, for us, doubles as a table. Obviously not having a dining table in here, we use this as our little table area and it works really well. And I really love how it also sort of connects the kitchen with the living space as well. You can have one person working here, but it doesn't sort of close you off to what's going on in the living room No, either. definitely mm. makes it one area and it's great for entertaining too. We just love our kitchen. We really feel like we've got the design right yeah, with our definitely. kitchen, haven't we? It works yeah. very well. And I see it looks like you've got great full-sized appliances all throughout. Yeah, that was a, a must for us. Um, we both really enjoy cooking and baking. Um, and with the gas hob, it's so efficient. Full-size oven, full-size fridge, it's great. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, even the dishwasher, we feel like we oh, haven't yeah. skimped on anything. We've got one of everything in such a little space and yeah, we use it all. We just love it. Really, really beautiful sink here as well. Yeah, it's definitely something different. I have quite a unique design style and the things that I really like. And when I first showed Ollie the brass, he was really keen too. Yeah. And we just wanted everything to be different and have that really nice high-end finish to it. And we feel we've achieved that and got little touches of brass all around the house to tie it together. And I think it looks beautiful. It certainly does, I completely agree. Beautiful bench tops here as well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that was your choice, wasn't it? You went with the marble. Yeah, I went for the marble look. Again, trying to have that step above, a little bit different, that high end finish that we're trying to go for. It works really well with the brass and it ties in well with the wall color. And I love the decorating in this home as well. Plants and crystals, you can never go wrong with that combination, can no, you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I was a little worried with my crystal collection, moving into the tiny home where they would all fit, but everyone's found a little home, absolutely love our plants, and we just really wanted to create a minimalistic, beautiful look, and I feel we've achieved that with the plants, the crystals, and just those really neutral tones throughout the home. And then what do we have through here? This is our bathroom, come and all take right. a look. Thank you. Now this is very spacious in here, isn't it? Yes, it definitely is. Something that was really key for me was having a, a good sized bathroom. Big wardrobe was needed. <laughs> and even though we've had a really good cull of our clothes, we still have so much room in there for hanging space and folding. And we also have our washing machine in that space as well. Very clever. So that whole back wall is your wardrobe space then, and wardrobe yes. and laundry. Yep, and yeah. storage. And that also connects around to underneath the stairs, and that's all storage under there as well. So it's all sort of one big space connected through there. Very clever. Yes. And then, again, really wonderful, spacious design in here. Great size shower. Yeah, it's a full size shower, 900 by 900. So it works well, and then it kind of just ties in with everything else. Composting toilet? Yes, of course, had to have the composting toilet. I personally was a little skeptical <laughs> at first, um, but it's worked out well. We just have no smells, it's easy to use, and it works really well. Works really well for us. Yeah. yeah. I really like the tile work you've done in here as well. Thanks, that was something right from the beginning. Before we even started designing, I had this idea, I really, I wanted green tiles, and sort of a few times gave up the idea, thinking it was a bit too out there, and then at the end decided, nope, stuff it, we're doing it. And um, actually became a bit of a, of a challenge because we won this beautiful sink through an online competition. And so came home and said to Ollie, well, we're now designing our bathroom based around a pink sink. Mm -hmm. And so that was quite interesting, but we feel the pink and the green works beautifully. And it's different. Like we say, our style is different. And we wanted it to be unique and we love it. It's unique, but it definitely does work. And I really do love the basin. It's very unique, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's very cool. Such a beautiful pink. And being the concrete, we feel it just adds to that really high end finish we were going for. Yeah, but it's a very earthy pink, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Not it too is. girly, is it? No, it's all right. <laughs> it matches our nice doors. Yeah. yeah. It certainly does. So you mentioned you've got access to some of the storage through the wardrobe as well, but you've also built a lot into the steps here as well, haven't you? Yes, we have. So we've got storage under every single step. 
Our first two steps are more or less of our appliances that we use for cooking, so our crock pot and toasted sandwich maker, and then as we get up higher and higher, we're going into sheets and towels and, and things that we don't use all the time. So it's quite nice and easy to get to. Yeah. And good to have them out of sight too. We don't use them all the time, so having somewhere to tuck them away where they can't be seen, I think is really important in a tiny home. And of course, this is one of those things that becomes possible in a tiny house once you've bumped it out to that three metre mark. Yeah, definitely. The, the stairs are a 600 wide, so we've got enough room to get up. It's not a massive room, but it's enough to get up and down quite comfortably. Well, should we take a look in the sleeping loft and check out up there? Yeah, yes, let's, let's go. go. All right, after you. Oh, again, this is really nice up here, isn't it? Very comfortable, cosy looking space. Yeah, definitely cosy. We wanted to create an area that we could come home to after a busy day and just relax and really feel like we could unwind. And here in the mornings, we can look out to the road and the trees and yeah. nature, and it's just a really nice place to be. It feels like you're sitting up in the trees, so it's real nice to look out in the mornings. We absolutely love it. It's so cosy very cozy up here. It certainly is and what is going on with this roof because I'm actually standing up here. Yeah that was one of the key things I had to have in this loft is I had to be able to stand up and um, we've achieved that by taking out the insulation in this section here of the roof and it works perfectly. What a clever idea. Yeah. And of course this whole part of the sleeping loft is all in the bump out isn't it? Yeah. Yes. The bump out it was an add-on halfway through the build. So it just opens up the space and going forward, we would like to have a nice couch. Bench seat bench perhaps seat, yeah. underneath the window. And that's also good moving forward, just to have that extra space, you know, you never know one day with kids might need to have an area. I guess it was for us, had lots of different uses and options for the future by adding this. It's certainly a very clever addition for sure. So how long have you been living in this house now? We've been here for three months now mm. and a lot of that time has been spent developing the outside and planting our gardens as well. So we sort of moved in right when it was finished and there was still a little bit to do mm. but uh, moved in towards the end of winter. So we felt it was great timing. We're really looking forward to a great summer here to be able to entertain our friends now that we're all set up and absolutely loved every part of the three months. Fantastic. So would you say that living in this home is meeting your expectations? Oh, oh it's Probably Above. exceeded them, yeah, Definitely. yeah, for sure. Having your own space is something pretty special, mm. and being a tiny house and have wanted to do it for so long, and you're and finally in it, it's a surreal feeling. And we're just yeah. so proud of what we've created. We love our design. We love every little finishing detail we've done. We're just so stoked that we get to call this our home. So three months. You haven't been here that long yet, but already, is there anything at all that you would change about this design? Not really. Maybe a window placement here or there, a different opening window, yes. just the little tiny things. Very minor things. Yeah. I think the reason behind that though, we spent a lot of time before we started building. We went and stayed in tiny homes, we researched, we drew plans. I actually went on programs online and drew them up 3D to show Ollie to see like what it would actually be like. Even when we were in here, when it was just the floor, we taped it out, we played with different designs and measurements right to the last minute and I feel like that's why we've really got it right, because mm. we've spent that time. Got, got and I think right that's for exactly for what we need. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you are a school teacher and you certainly <laughs> did your homework here, didn't yes, you? Yes, we sure did. <laughs> <laughs> you really can see that this is a very high quality home. Can you talk to me a little bit about the budget that was involved in realising this project? Yeah, definitely. So initially when we started, we had a figure in our head of what we wanted to spend to make it that high-end, beautiful finish. Overall, we spent 85000 and we feel for what we spent, we've created something incredibly beautiful, which is a fraction of the cost of if we wanted to buy a home locally. And I guess we were incredibly lucky. We had family and friends here every weekend helping us, every part of the build. We had cousins do the electrical work, friends help us with the build, and we were very lucky in that aspect because I feel that helped financially too. Absolutely, because looking at this home, when we talk about budget, I was easily expecting anywhere from a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So for you to say that this was achieved for only eighty-five, I'm actually gobsmacked at that. Yes, we're pretty proud. Um, very lucky, and like yeah. we said, friends, family helping, and also my dad did the painting. He owns a painting business, so all those little things here and there really helped us save overall with, with the overall cost. Being involved in the build from the start is, is something special because it's our own home. Right from when we put the first frames up in the builder's garage to hanging them, putting the walls up on the tiny house itself. It's a huge achievement, 
Um, I probably never thought I'd build my own house or been helping to build my own house. And that itself, I think, is a pretty big achievement. I think it was important to be part of the building process because you got to see your dream becoming a reality. Mm. It was right from the pen on the paper, the sketches. We were house sitting one day and we went out on the concrete and drew it out with chalk. And it was just this dream that suddenly could be a possibility for us. And the more we mm. researched into it, we said, we can actually do this. Yeah. And we took a plunge and we did it. Did it. And here we are. Yeah. Best thing I think we've ever done. Yeah, it's been a dream of mine to do that for, for a long time and it's finally, finally come true, so I'm pretty happy. Well, Layla, Ollie, this really is such a beautiful home. There are so many really unique and interesting design elements in here, and this is a place that you should both be immensely proud of. Thank you so much for sharing Thank it with me. Thank you for coming. Really yeah, enjoyed having you here. Thanks heaps. Cheers. I really am incredibly impressed with this home that Ollie and Layla have built for themselves. You can really tell how much time and effort and research has gone into this build and creating a space that's really unique and perfectly works for this couple. It really goes to show that even in small space design, there really is no limit to the possibilities of what you can create for yourself.